I'm on a mission to get myself a fire cape within 45 days of membership with one major catch. I'm not allowed to play for more than an hour each day. I'm going to have to find ways to circumvent many of RuneScape's grinds in order to achieve my goal on time. Things like spending hours at Sandcrabs simply isn't viable, and every day the clock ticks closer and closer to when we have to face Jad. Is this even a possible goal, considering I'm generally pretty bad at the game to begin with? How do I use a grand exchange, and all my experience in-game comes from playing Iron Man? Will I lose my sanity or hair during this process? Find out in today's episode of One Hour Limit Locked. Hello again everyone and welcome back. Day 39, I think? Day 39. We're into our last week, y'all. If I could spend a whole day today prior training, I would. But... I have a feeling it's going to be a bit busy because it's currently Sunday afternoon and the quietest world is like 450 people. So, I feel like it's not a good idea to do prior training right now. We do still have some bones left to collect before we can actually fully do our prior training. So, I think what I'm going to do is send like five bone runs and see how it is if it's busy, if I can get away with doing some or if I feel like I'm just gonna get killed and then yeah we'll we'll figure out after that what we're gonna do with the rest of the session let's get on into it maybe I should open up USA as well and then there might be some quieter worlds all right we've got plenty of shit to put in the GE apparently all right there's the GE shit done we are going to Bank everything. Got about almost a mil back up to this is nice. We are gonna get a burning amulet. Off we go. Okay, didn't see anyone during the first trip. Oh, there's a person. Cause I could make this quicker by bringing uh, stacks of noted bones and coins to unnote them from the chaos wizard guy who stands outside. But that just increases your risk a lot more. Yes, it's quicker, but it doesn't take that long to just reset with a full event here, and it's far, far safer than just bringing my entire stack with me to get taken by the first PK who decides to run into me. I don't really have the tools available to try and be defensive while doing this, so... Uh, less risk the better. Oh, there's our first prayer level, 58. I'm not sure if I explained this clearly enough last time, but as you'll see, I'm not losing a bone every time I use one here. In fact, this one, a few of them lasted a long time. And that's what the World Order does, it gives you that 50% chance to not actually use the bone. So, I think there was a bit of confusion in, in some comments from someone saying about it saved time, but that's not necessarily what it is, it's nothing to do with time. It's you have that chance to not use the bone, which means that you can just keep using the same bone, because every time it passes that 50% chance to save itself, it then gets another 50% chance to save itself the next time you try and bury it. And if it passes that one, it gets another 50% chance. So, it works out pretty good. It basically doubles the amount of XP that you get out of your bones versus if you took them to a guild or altar in somebody's house. It's not entirely consistent, but in my personal experience, I'd say it is usually better than not. Like, you get a lot of free bones by doing this way. Three people there, okay. That's a bit scary. Two people, yeah? Maybe I can just hide under them. Oh, that guy's using the... Okay, yeah, that's, that's fine, actually. Makes him the more viable target if someone turns up. I guess he's using the uh, bone guy. Also, it is quicker to manually use the bones on the altar. I can see that this person here is doing it automatically, and it is way slower. They've literally been sat there since I came in. So this, guy, this guy sat his invent. They haven't moved because they've just been doing it auto. Also, there's two people that are both using... Oh, man, I so badly want to try and PK them, but... I don't have, like, any, like, a, you know, 
I'm 16 magic. I don't have a dragon dagger. I don't have anything. I got an MSB that I can try and kill them with, and that is literally it. Oh, they're still here. Okay, I can actually attack one of those people. And uh, I don't think there's any way I could kill that guy. Like, he's got 84 HP, 73 defense, 74 prayer. I feel like he just runs and I just waste time chasing him and then he gets away because I don't have any entangles or freezers or anything to keep him from getting away. He might have an entangle or a teleblock or something, who knows. Right now though, I've just run four trips and I haven't had any issues so far. So I think I'm just going to keep going a little longer. If there's no interruptions from PKers, then I'll keep going until, until at least like half an hour left on the clock. And there is 60 pro. There's 61. There's two PKers. Can I get anything? I don't even know who's attacking me though. Oh, it's this guy. Is that Salamander? Guys, <laughs> tackle me with a Salamander. God, it's so busy right now. Might not be the best time. I have been, like, doing alright though. Like, I haven't been too interrupted in general. So who knows, maybe we can get away with a few more. I don't count that as me getting peaked, because I was out, like, I had no bones left, so nothing was lost there. Okay, I'm going to be a bit laggier on this world that's American. So I've got to be careful to re react as quickly as I can if anyone appears. Some bones on the floor, that means someone's been here recently. Seen a few people, but I keep hopping away from them, so... Haven't actually been attacked so far. And there's 62 per hour. Okay, got killed at the end of a trip, but three people just hopped in all at the same time. <sighs> Starting to feel a little bit dangerous around here, I'm not gonna lie. I keep just like narrowly dodging fights by having my invent run out at the right time. I don't know how much longer I want to do this, but I'll go a little bit more yet. By the way, if anyone doesn't know how to move your, uh, like, GUI stuff, like your invent, in Runelight all you do is hold Alt, and when you do that you see these yellow lines appear around everything. I can't hold it right now because I need to click this. Yeah, when you hold Alt you see these yellow lines appear around everything that's like the boundary of that widget and you can just move them around wherever you like by clicking and dragging. Uh, there are some like dock points that you can put them in of like standard places but yeah. If anyone ever wanted to know how to do that, that is how. You just hold alt. Just hold alt. Oh and if you alt right click it resets it to its original default position which can be handy. When you just like right I want it, I want this widget back where it should be. You know, I've moved it over here and I don't know where it originally went, so I'll just right click it and then, bam. I am in combat. Okay, but we're not going to lose anything. We've already got all our bones off, so we're actually fine with it. Actually, just help me die quicker. Thank you, friend. We got another prayer level there. We are up to 63 now. I don't know what it is, but as busy as it is right now, I've managed to spend the last half an hour burying bones without losing a single one. So I think I'm just going to keep going until I lose some bones. If I don't lose any bones, I'll just keep going. <laughs> you know, that's ideal. <laughs> Might be a busy time right now, maybe because it's a busy time, the PKers don't expect anyone to be there. I don't know, like... The game's weird sometimes. Maybe I'm just getting lucky with who's turning up and when they're turning up. So I've been attacked a few times, just not when I've had bones left. There's 64. We are getting there. I mean, luck depending, it is possible that 
we could get to our goal before we run out of bones, even though the calculator said we needed about 70 more. All depends on luck with that 50% save. But it, th there's a potential possibility that we could get there with the bones that we have already. Which would be great, because it'd mean any extras we get. You know, if we spend a day, uh, if we get 70 prayer and then spend a day at Green Dragons, that's a mil off that day at least from the dragon modes that we'd collect. Might be closer to getting a ring slot upgrade than we think. Not a bot. Not a bot. Oh my god, T.Y. Shout out that guy. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. The first time I actually get attacked by somebody, his name is Bop the Bots. I say I'm not a bot, and he's like, you good. <laughs> Cheers, man. Cheers. There it is, folks. If you ever get attacked by a guy called Bop the Bots, just tell him you're not a bot, and he'll let you go. And I'm shocked that we've been 40 minutes. Haven't lost a bone yet. We spent like half an hour the other day when it was quiet and lost like six buttons. This time nothing. It's been... I'm trying not to jinx it, but it's been kind of smooth sailing. We're up to 65 pro, we need five more levels. Granted, they do get bigger and bigger gaps each time, but I think we've blown for about half the buttons we have stored up. Definitely uh, getting through them. Man, how great would it be if we just ended with like a hundred dragon bones spare? That'd be crazy. Oh, hello Lucas. Let's find him at the end of an invent. I mean, literally so far, all the PKers have done is helped me reset quicker. They're actually just really kind people out there trying to save you time from hitting that Zamorak line. That's 66 per hour. Wonder if we can get another level today. Are you gonna finish me off, mate? Cheers. Ho ho! That was a lot of people. Don't like the look of that one bit. Let's just get into a different stratosphere of server. As far away from wherever the fuck that was as possible. Like a four man free for all in. Oops. Oh, I got the hop. Beautiful. Okay, it's starting to get a little bit busier now. Still haven't lost anything yet, though. But no, not teleport to lava, man. I'm already there. <laughs> that bone pile keeps getting lower and lower. That is 67 prayer. Might even make 68 today, I'm not sure. Oh, I don't need to save a few minutes to go to the GE today, either. Because well, I ain't got shit to sell. <laughs> We've been spending today, not, not gaining. I think we'll definitely get 68. I don't think we'll get any higher than that. Just going to start burying dragon bones on the spot. Okay, we finally lost some y'all. Lost about 20 dragon bones there. It's unfortunate. Very unfortunate. Full burning amulet as well. Um, a lot of people, I'm losing a lot of time to hops. But just trying to stay safe. Might be a struggle to get to that 68 today after all. Get in! 68 per hour. Alright, there's no way we can get another trip in. And I don't want to be caught out there while the session's ending. So, I think I'm just going to go to the GE just to put an offer in on a Dragon Bone Necklace. Because we're definitely getting to 70 per hour and we want a Dragon Bone Necklace. Is there anything else we need to sell? Blighted Super Restores. 
Don't really need any poisons, but they're not worth that much. Emerald rings. Okay. Just out of curiosity, what's the brimstone cost? Aye, 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 they've gone up since my day. What about an archers? Hoo, hoo, hoo. Okay, the Ring of the Gods is the most affordable. I bet Lightbringer would probably be similar as well. Lightbearer, yeah. Lightbearer might be worth. With the blow pipe. Yeah, that is our hour today, folks. Wow. Uh, I'm surprised that we managed to spend a full hour doing the bones, honestly. But it's, it's worked out pretty good for us. We gained just under 400,000 experience today, which is absolutely gigantic. All the way up to 68 prayer. We're about 120k, I think, away from our goal. And should we see the calculator may have updated now that we've used a bunch of those. It may tell us we've got a higher level. No, not quite. Still saying 69 prayer. But it says level 70 requires 20k, and I'm fairly certain level 70 required 50 or 60k yesterday. So we have made some profit on our bones from the 50% saving here. It has definitely, definitely worked to our advantage, even despite the fact that we lost 20 bones to a player killer there. We've still made a decent amount of profit, so... Yeah, we're about 130k away from the goal. Roughly 112 banked, but who knows, maybe we can get there off it. If not, we can just head back to Dragons and get some more bones. We have six days left after this to achieve the fire cape this is day 39 right so we got 40 41 42 43 we're going in on day 44 43 is a prep day so we've got 40 41 and 42 we basically got three days to make sure we've got 70 prayer 75 ranged and see if we can get a ring slot that's the goal we got three days to do it i reckon we're gonna be fine I reckon we're going to be absolutely fine. I'm really happy with the fact that we managed to get so many bones off today. Because I thought I was going to be there for like 10 minutes, then get PK'd and end up back at Green Drags again. But yeah, that is going to be all from this one. So if you have enjoyed the video, please do make sure to leave a like. It helps a ton buff pushing me into the algorithm and just letting me know that you enjoy the content I'm creating. So I know to keep making the content. Leave a comment down below. We're getting towards the end of the series. Let me know what you want to see next. I need to start having this discussion with people, with with fans and stuff. Like, where do you want this series to go? Because it's going to end when I get a fire cape. But I've been having so much fun making it. I don't want, like, the, the concept of one hour limit to die off. I like it. It's unique. It, it fits my channel and my upload style. So what do you want to see from One Hour Limit Locked next? Would you like to see me continue this account after a fire cape with a new amount of bonds and a new goal? If you would, do you have an idea for what that new goal may be? Maybe it's a raid, maybe I wait until the Colosseum comes out and try and get a feel for how obtainable that might be. It's really hard to tell when we've got such limited information. Would you prefer to see me start a fresh account doing a, a, either the same or a different challenge again but in different ways? Like I could try a mage build or maybe or, or something. It, even if I was doing the exact same thing again my approach would be totally different from the start. So yeah there's that. Like th there's a few things or maybe like this series is just good as it is and you think that it's served its purpose and I don't need to, to get bogged down doing more of it. I don't know, just let me know what your thoughts are in the comments. Do you want to see more One Hour Limit Locked? If so, any ideas in particular of how you'd like to see it, definitely uh, leave any feedback and it, it will super be appreciated. And hit that subscribe button if you haven't already joined the growing family of One Hour Men and Women and non-binary pals here. Look after yourself, be lovely to one another, and I will see you on the next one.